would be prouder of his boys than I am of you guys. Hollywood is set to release a long-awaited film about the 19 Granite Mountain hotshots killed in the Yarnell Hill fire. Now, the movie is titled Only the Brave, but not all of the fallen heroes' families want to see the tragedy play out on the silver screen. Team 12's Kevin Kennedy spoke exclusively with them about the film. Kev? I spent two weeks in Prescott after the fire. I talked with families, cried with families, and in time became friends with many. I think we all knew a movie would at some point be made. And while most of the families are fine with it, some family members are conflicted. And at least one is disappointed. It was and still is the deadliest wildland firefighter disaster in our history. 19 men killed, their families left broken, a community scarred forever. Four years later, this horrific story is being told by Hollywood. We're gonna take the fire head on and save our town. Only the Brave is about the Granite Mountain hotshots. Sooner or later, the fire's gonna come knocking in our hometown. The men who battle blazes, risking their lives to save ours. It was tough for all of us. It was hard. Michelle Parker lost her son Wade to the Yarnell Hill fire. She knows how this movie ends, seeing his story on the big screen. Whew. It took my breath away. I started crying and my mom just grabbed my hand and we just held hands. <laughs> the movie focuses on hotshot leader Eric Marsh and the only survivor, Brendan McDonough. But all 19 have a part. Joanna Ritter is the sister of Scott Norris. I expected to not like it. I liked it <laughs> more than I thought I would. Several of the families invited on set met the actors and producers. But when you make a movie about something so painful, not everyone is going to be supportive. My son, along with 18 of his brothers, perished and we decided to make a movie about it. David Turbyfill has mixed emotions. His wife, Sherry, does not. No, they should have never made this movie. No one could be prouder of his boys than I am of you guys. Sherry refuses to see it, couldn't even get through the trailer. I have no room in my life for of Hollywood trying to make a buck. I want y'all to breathe in this beautiful vista. Director Joe Kaczynski has made movies before, but this story actually happened. Certainly the responsibility of this one weighed heaviest on me because it's uh, a true story and because it involves uh, 19 families. I did laugh quite a bit through the movie. It was a good movie. Um, I feel like they, they did a good job. Burn over seconds away. It's gonna feel like the end of the world. As long as you can breathe, you can survive. The ending to this movie was written four years ago, up on a hill in a small Arizona town, about 19 men who were already heroes. The director told me one of his proudest moments was when the wife of one of the hotshots thanked him, saying, until now, she didn't really understand all her husband did. Only the Brave opens in theaters later this month. Kevin Kennedy, 12 News.